Hey going everyone, Josh the Collector Guy. Hope you all had an awesome week this week, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're able to go out sometime over the span of the week, have a little hunt here and there. Hope you found some awesome things. Hope you had an awesome week, everyone. Let's get the lowdown on what I found this week, ladies and gentlemen. Got some awesome blue cards here off my mad mate. Got great deals on all the cars, as always, as I get off him. A couple of other vintage carded stuff as well. Firebird funny car. Tough looking highway hauler and a very awesome red line little red Corvette with a dark brown interior. Didn't have that one. Share them with you a little bit later. Some loose ones. Stuff from the flea market as well. And as I said just before the lowdown, the old Japanese red box. This is probably one of my greatest cars in my collection. The old Japanese red box lowdown. Absolute mint as well. I'll share that one with you a little bit later in the vid. But for it, first up, show you the flea market finds. It was pretty hit and miss at the flea market today. But nevertheless, I actually walked away with two cars, so it couldn't have been too bad. Found old made a Macau Jaguar here. I do like my Jaguars, especially these older bodied shaped ones. They're just so cool looking. I absolutely love them. And very cool how they got Jaguar in the casting there on the back too that that's very cool made a macau as i said i'd say it'd be from at least the 80s maybe i could be wrong opening doors as well which is pretty cool feature on a lot of the matchbox from that era and previous very cool indeed something hot wheels really don't do that often so i was glad to find that one very nice looking volvo truck here as well surprisingly it's still got these ones this is all made out of plastic. It looks like probably power line cables or some form of cables for a factory or something like that. Surprisingly, they're still there, being made out of plastic and the way kids are with toys. But very cool. Looks like it's still made in England because it's got Lesney England there, even though it's got Matchbox. So that's pretty cool. Very nice looking Volvo truck. Have a couple of these from when I was a kid. A lot of different tampo designs, colour designs, you name it. Very cool looking truck, very nice. Brings back a lot of good memories. Some awesome blue cards here off my man mate. Got great deals on them, as always, as I do off my man mate. Got two wheel variations of the mini truck. He threw these two in, which is very nice of him. Very nice looking truck, not sure what it's based on. It's, of course I'll say Chevy, but it probably isn't. I've heard it might might be based on a Toyota. I could be wrong, but I'm sure sooner rather than later I'll find out one of these days. But not a bad looking truck, I have to admit. I do like my trucks, especially Chevy stuff and that. Got some old Corvettes here. Got a bit of Corvette fever happening. Old 80s Corvette with the sort of low rider looking tyres and the three blade ones. Both different wheel variations. On the awesome blue card as well. I think these are around 96. Yep. Very cool. I like how all the ca old card art is and everything on the back. And even the collector's tips up in the top right hand corner. Very cool. On this one here too. Very nice. And the old Hot Wheels Race Team series. you got to love that. And I don't believe I've got this wheel variation either with the five dots. I think it might be called that. I'm not really sure. Very tough looking Corvette. Love the old 80s Corvettes. Another one here as well, I definitely have one of these loose, but my mate threw it in as he always does. He loves throwing in stuff for me, he's a good mate. Love love this Corvette as I said, absolutely fantastic Hot Wheels race team design, typical of the 80, 80s, I mean 90s, sorry, very cool indeed. An old Soli Air here, not really sure what this one came from, it could be a parking plate, I could be very wrong. I'll have to have a look in one of my guidebooks to help me out a little bit. Love it in the fluoro pink. Such an awesome colour. Very nice indeed. Old opening back. Typical of the Soliers. Very nice. And the black walls as well. Very cool looking car indeed. More carded stuff here as well. I'll actually show the highway hauler first. Trick you there. Very nice. Love the highway haulers. Especially this one. Did not grow up with this highway hauler though. Even though this is around sort of the 90s. The version afterward I grew up with a, a lot. Have a couple of them in the collection. Very cool. But typical highway haul of fashion. Very, very nice looking truck as always. They're always presented well, the highway haulers. Have a look at the card art on the back. Not that there is anything on the back to be honest. Very nice looking truck. Love the colour and everything. Very cool indeed. 
and quite sort of a low number as well in the series. Probably not a lot of them left around in the packet, that's for sure. Old Firebird Funny Car, love my GM drag race and stuff, GM stuff in general. Very tough looking funny car. Unfortunately, the packet's a bit cracked, but that, that doesn't worry me in the slightest. The old card art on the back actually have one of them cases, which is very cool. Love the card art as always. Always presented well in great colourful fashion on these old cards. Absolutely love it. Very cool. Unpunched as well. Very nice looking funny car. Absolutely love it. Had, had to haggle a little bit with my man mate for this one for quite a while. Finally he he gave in and let me let me have it, which was very nice of him. Very love very nice Corvette. Absolutely love it. It's got the brown interior. I've got two other variations of this one. The normal Hong Kong variation with the black steering wheel, white interior. The USA variation with the white interior. Now I've got the Hong Kong with the light brown or dark brown interior, whatever it is. You can tell, there's a few things you can tell with the Corvette if it's a Hong Kong. If it's got all, it all painted at the back there, it definitely means it's a Hong Kong. And of course, the way the base is there. Very nice looking car. I love my vets. Love the little red Corvette too. Absolutely tough as little car. And there's been a lot of rumours saying when this car was first released back in the 60s, it was actually in the shops before the actual full-size version was actually in the showroom. So that's pretty cool, I reckon. Not sure how true that is, but I have heard it, and it's even written in one of my price guides. But probably one of my holy grails to actually find was a Japanese red box, and what better... Japanese red box to find than this old Chevy Monte Carlo low down absolutely tough as car Everyone should know by now. I love my Monte Carlo stockers absolutely love them glad to have this color variation Which I did not have very nice indeed pretty much in absolute mint condition Love the old red white and blue striping on the top there very tough looking car and the old red box as well not in not too bad condition a bit of a rip there and I think one of the flaps are ripped off a bit but other than that I reckon got a not too bad deal on it these thing these old red boxes don't really come up too often as far as I know anyway in my personal opinion there's something compared to your normal carded Hot Wheels you don't see all the time same with the maybe toys stuff as well you really don't see a lot of that it's quite hard to find but anyway that that was just an absolutely awesome find had to get that Another awesome Monte Carlo from the collection. And love the box art too, even though I can't read Japanese. Anyway, that's pretty much the haul for the week, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you all to the subscribers who tune in each and every week. Thank you very much, guys and girls. I always appreciate it. Even people who pass by, I appreciate you tuning into my videos. Well, that's it for the week, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed. And remember, as always, ladies and gentlemen, happy hunting. Keep the hobby strong. See you later, everyone.